Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. And it looks like we got a little something to talk about. Now, normally I probably wouldn't comment on something like this, but this directly affects me and most of the other narrators you listen to. So, unlike other people who might be talking about this, we're gonna shy away from talking about the uh, two girls that are involving this. We're gonna not talk about what's going on with the court case. And all that type of stuff. And, you know, because we already know that, you know, there's already new sites that are talking about that. Everyone's talking about that. So, what am I bringing to the table? What am I talking about? Well, I, I guess the uh, thing I really want to talk about this incident is, I guess, first, we should definitely give you some background information in a totally unbiased way. Apparently, at a Wisconsin middle school, two girls um, stabbed a 12-year-old friend 19 times. Um, some with, you know, basically in the attempts to like some summon Slenderman or something like that. And due to this incident, as well as other things, people, uh, the FBI are investigating the creepypasta wiki. Now, I'm not here to argue that the creep has a wiki shouldn't be investigated or sit here and tell you you should show support for them. I'm here to tell you that a 12-year-old girl, well, 12-year-old friend was stabbed 19 times over some kind of fictional story. And that's kind of a tragedy if you think about it and it's a horrible thing so rather than focusing on the creepypasta wiki or maybe you know the possibility of it getting shut down we should be focusing on the person who was the real victim in this the, the girl who was uh, i'm assuming it's a girl it just says friend on here but um the person who was stabbed and thank god that 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 student lived but you know, th this person was stabbed by two girls who did not, was not in the right mind. And essentially what I want to say is that I kind of want to make this video to kind of show my support. If this person is watching this, I want to say that my heart goes out to you. And I I'm sorry that such a tragedy happened. So I guess the points I was trying to make is that we should definitely give our hearts out to this poor girl who was stabbed a good 19 times and we, we should definitely do nothing else but that but um I definitely want to give you guys the story and essentially what did happen from a unbiased point of view and we're not going to give out basically our opinions on why it happened or you know who should be blamed or anything like that we're just going to give you the story of what happened so we can definitely give you the full scope of i guess what's going on with the wiki and everything else so without further ado i would like to introduce my friend the creepy rasta who definitely has more of a hand and understands a lot more than what i do so without further ado uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Creepy Rasta. I am also a fellow narrator, just like that creepy reader. And I know a little bit more about the story than reading, and I'm very thankful for him to uh, give me this opportunity to explain what exactly happened. Um, in a Wisconsin middle school, uh, there was a 12-year-old girl who every um, year could only have two friends over for her birthday party. And two of her friends did this for over six months. And when they went over for her birthday party, they took her out to the woods um, and stabbed her 19 times. Uh... There have been some reports saying that uh, they kept switching the knife back and forth. And after they stabbed her, uh, the person, uh, the 12-year-old who was stabbed, crawled her way out of the woods onto uh, the road or, and or sidewalk. It's really unclear. And she was spotted by someone and she was taken into intensive care. Um, she is currently stable right now, and it looks like she's going to make it. And uh, people are now considering what they're going to do about it. 
Uh, um, back to you reading. Yeah, def- there's a there's a, some type of court case going on, but again, we're not here to talk about the court case. We're not here to give you our opinions on what should be done, even though this is, I guess, our jobs per se and what we do. It's not about that. It's about that there, uh, the community, um, the creep past community per se, is kind of taking this entire situation and just going overboard on it, um, drawing the slender man, uh, penta thing, and essentially showing this weird radical support in the creepy pasta way, and you know basically for the wiki and the website, but honestly. I think that's only drawing more suspicion on our hands. I think that's only shooting ourselves in the foot. And it's kind of sad that when a, a girl who was stabbed 19 times... Again, that, that's a lot of times to be stabbed. Holy shit. But essentially, a girl was stabbed 19 times. And we as a community decided to show support for the wiki and show support for you know why creepypastas don't do this to people and you know what i don't think that they did either but the thing is is that that's not what it's about here what it's about is that we should definitely be showing our love our support our absolute heartfelt happy faces i guess towards the family that you know was affected by this there is a girl who's probably going to be scared for the rest of her life or you know is probably going to suffer some type of trauma or damage due to being stabbed and that she's going to have to deal with as a burden for the rest of her life and there's people out there who are focusing on why slender man should be protected slender man's a story everyone this girl is real and she's been she's scarred she's stabbed and it's kind of sad and I, I guess what I want to say, what I guess the message of this video is, I want to appeal to you guys, appeal to your soft side. And I think if there's a way to start up some kind of campaign to show just support for this family that has to deal with this, the support for the girl who was stabbed, support for all those who you know might be dealing with this kind of thing, that's what we should be doing. Actually, reading that's a that's a very good point. And currently, the Creepypasta Wiki has started up a small campaign um, as a donation drive to the affected family, and we will be posting that a link to the in the description to the uh, appropriated fundraiser uh, to help this uh, kind and loving family to show our respect and remorse for this terrible uh, tragedy. Uh, tragedy. <laughs> oh well, yeah, definitely. Um, I guess what we. What I guess I'll appeal to you is that for those of you who have a Tumblr, I, I guess I would definitely think about re-tumbling it, re-blogging, or showing the link, um, the Creepypasta fun- fundraiser donation thing around. That would be a great way to help share support. Um, another great way would be um, tweeting it. And basically, instead of talking about the two girls who committed this horrible act, why don't we talk about the one girl who deserves all the love and support we can show them. So again, it will be in the description below. This has been That Creepy Reading, and we'll be signing off. <laughs>